Yeah. Flight crew, what it do? What's happening? We back, man. Got another review, man. We finna just be rolling through them, knocking them down. So, you know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. We got reviews coming daily. You heard me? So, let's go and jump into it, man. Packing the mail is on. You hear me? Let that, let that, uh, that St. Louis come out. You hear me? You hear me? Uh, let's see. We got one from Organic Entourage. You know I'm saying nice little pack. Y'all see the see the label? It does say Organic Entourage. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of I'm kind of cool. I'm kind of cool with it as long as it's not, you know, saying like flour or CBD or hemp or you know anything of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Organic. That's cool. Entourage, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? No biggie on the labeling. Let's see what we got. Whew. Christmas came early, man. We got, we, we got, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's see what's cracking. We got white, white CBG. Let me angle it like this so y'all can see it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's CBG, one thing. CBG always, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? If you can't really see it that well, when we do the reviews, y'all going to get up close personals of it. CBG always looks beautiful to me. I have just never been a fan of how it smokes, like flavor, effect. You know what I'm saying? That was just me personally. I was past previous reviews back when CBG was really kind of first getting popular and companies really initially started having it. I was able to get my hands on it and review it. And just, I don't know, the breakdown was different. It kind of just crumbles up for me. Uh, whatever. We're going to tell you. We're we going to check it out today, though. And lifter. So we're going to go over the white CBG and lifter. You know what I'm saying? I will explain why once we get to it. So I'm going to throw those to the side. And then we still got, you know, for other reviews, we got some Hawaiian haze. And y'all notice, man, they sending nice, nice buds, nice flowers in here, man. Nothing, nothing small. You know what I'm saying? They doing it real big. We got Suver haze, nice big buds in there. Y'all see them stalks, right? Them stalks is looking good. Organic entourage. And special sauce. Same, same, man. That bag appeal is, is nice. Just stalks, you know what I'm saying? Nice, nice big buds. Nice colas. You feel me? So bag appeal is, is 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 you know what I'm saying, on point as far as that. Nice labeling. Let me throw these to the side. We go over all of the details with the bags in a moment. Let's finish. Checking out the, the, the interior of this box. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. So, here we go. Paperwork, paperwork, paperwork. We got them COAs. You know what I'm saying? Certificate of Analysis. We got several of them. You know what I'm saying? From the different, uh, different strains y'all just saw. So, it is individual COAs for all of those. Um... Matter of fact, while we doing this, I'm gonna pull up the website. That way, if I can see the COA on the website, what I do is when I get into the strains, I just throw a screenshot or something up in the corner on the page, like how we normally do. You know what I'm saying? And that way, y'all can get your up close and personals of the uh, the COA. So let's pull up organicentourage.com. While that's loading, let's see what else is in here. We have several of these little cards, right? It says fit for commerce certificates. And they have the individual strains on there. Uh Hawaiian Haze, we got one for that. Special sauce, lifter, <clears throat> Suver Haze, White C B G. So these are from the Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection. Okay, so it's got each one of these cards individually for the strains that I just went over. Um, it says, let's just read one of them real quick, just just the first couple sentences. The hemp variety Hawaiian haze for license number, yada, 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 from growing location, yada, 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 at GPS coordinates that was sampled by 
and it's got dates and everything. So I mean, it's got this is this is detailed information. I've never seen these be included um, with the orders. Normally, you get your COA and your notice to law enforcement, which they included that as well. But if you want to pause it, like if you're curious, you know what I'm saying. I, I, if I can get it to focus in a little bit, if you want to pause it on there so you can kind of read that, if you're interested, you know what I'm saying. Feel free. Okay. All right. So those are included. Now, again, we do have our COA. And again, we also do have our notice to law enforcement authorities as well. So that's already on there also. Uh, so they didn't leave that out. They just got some extra paperwork in there, which I feel like you can never be too cautious um, because they do mess with your packages. If you've never had it happen, more power to you. I have had packages get intercepted so to speak, you know what I'm saying, intercepted by the post office um, before. So it does happen. So including all that paperwork and just making sure that it's in there covering all your bases is a must. Um, and they definitely did do that. Also, we have, okay, sent a little magnifying glass. Y'all see that? So I got a little present, man. I've never received a magnifying glass with the order. I can only imagine, you know, that's probably for, you know, getting up close and personal, looking at your flower. You know what I'm saying? And then we got a little note as well. Bow. Let's see. It says, thank you so much for reviewing our product. We really appreciate it. We had a good growing season and feel that our flower is top tier. Three new people have joined our team. They have expertise in many areas. You'll see their photos and hear their voices on social media in the next weeks. Please excuse our simple labels. We're working on updating our packaging and we'll have a new look soon. Finally, we have flour in for extraction and we'll be offering tincture as soon as it's ready. In the meantime, as always, feel free to reach out to us on Instagram with any thoughts you may have. Enjoy from Tara. P.S. The small lens on this magnifying glass is fun to use to look at the trichomes. Okay, so she's some of this. Oh, you got a little smaller one down here as well. So, <clears throat> yeah, definitely for the flower. As far as simple labels, um, organic entourage, I, I like it. I mean, you know what I'm saying? What they say, kids, keep it simple, stupid. Uh, you know, I just, you know, I had to have another S for K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it simple, stupid. But, you know, y'all do y'all thing. I like I like that you keeping it simple because the flower should speak for itself. You really don't. I mean, the the, the fancy labeling and packaging is, is definitely appreciated. It's definitely lovely. But at the end of the day, we here for the product. We here for the flower. As long as you include the essentials and you have your labels, I'm fine with this label. It's got it's got the, the QR code. We can scan that and go directly to the website if need be. You know what I'm saying? So I'm cool with that label. And then again, the bare essentials, you know, the COAs, um, the notice to law enforcement, a.k.a. let my nuts go paperwork. Y'all got all of that included, man. So thumbs up to you. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've reviewed Organic Entourage in the past, so I already know the flower is A1, but we're going to check it out from this new harvest and see what they talking about, y'all. So you know how we do. We don't bust out nothing until it until the review. I don't open. If anything, I may open the box just to verify the contents, but I do not actually re you know, bust open the product until we get to the review. That way, everything is fresh. You know what I'm saying? All reactions, everything that you guys see is all natural. It's not rehearsed. It's not scripted. This is just all off the top of the dome, and I can smell it already. I can smell it, and we just cracking through this part. We ain't even busted the actual Ziploc. The bag, I mean, the box itself, even though it had several, several different strains, was completely no smells. Excellent smell-proof bags. Now that I've kind of tore into it. I'm getting a smell from this lifter. You guys know about lifter. Lifter is a great um, sativa. It's one for in the mornings. This is your coffee and smoke. If you if you drink coffee, whatever. If you don't, whatever. Wake up in the morning. Get you some lifter. If you're a person that suffers from depression, um, 
you know, where you just don't want to get out of the bed some days. Even if you don't have depression and you just feel like some days it's just overwhelming. Some days can be too much, especially 2020, especially this year with this pandemic and just everything in the world just happening. Lifter, man, I'm telling you, get you some lifter in your life straight up it's, it's it does exactly what it says it, it's lifting it's uplifting it lifts you up it gives you that boost it gives you that motivation to to get up and go it gives you that 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 clearness of mind you know what i'm saying um for your afternoon when you start to feel that grogginess in the afternoon pull out some lifter man fire that shit up man enjoy you know what i'm saying so i can tell you again it's funky already Whew. Oh my goodness. You know it'll be some good shit, right? When you got a you know, you, we got that special way of smokers opening bags up, y'all, and then just put your whole it just Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I could this could be my face mask. I could just do like this and put some straps on the side of the bag and just walk around like this. You hear me? Hmm. I feel like I'm in Star Wars, Darth Vader or something with this song, man. I'm telling y'all, shit smells amazing. So let's check out the flower, man. Let's check the buds out. And again, you're going to get up close and personal video, so don't really trip off of this little part as far as what it's looking like. Y'all can kind of see it for sure. But again, no biggie. Don't trip. We'll do, we'll do up close and personal video, you know what I'm saying? So you guys will get a... A better view of this flower so no worries it is definitely very well trimmed i'm not seeing any any fan or sugar leaves or anything of that nature everything has been trimmed and manicured uh, the flower is glistening you can definitely see the trichomes it's it's glistening as i was saying excuse me i had an amber alert actually popped up man so i hope whoever you know that child is is it's gonna be okay but yeah sorry for the interruption in the video um so yeah definitely definitely frosty got some nice color to it uh got a nice green color you know what i'm saying kind of a kind of couple so it's it's got a little dark green it's got a little light green and then you can definitely kind of see the kind of reddish to orange kind of um hairs or pistols on here as well so definitely you know organic entourage if y'all not familiar they do their thing man i don't really have to say too much man organic entourage puts out good flour and um what else what else do you need to know you know what i'm saying i can say that before i smoke it because if you go back in my 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 review history i reviewed that product before uh several times over so before y'all be like, oh, you saying something before you smoke it? No, I can do that because I reviewed that product. I have, uh, I'm trying to stay in front of this mic too for y'all. I'm sorry if I kind of come in and out a little bit. Again, if y'all know, if you know anything about these sure SM7B mics, you do need to kind of be directly in front. It's not one of those omnidirectionals, you know what I'm saying? And then I don't have a cloud lifter on here. Um, I got it running right into a mixer, so you know what I'm saying we don't have that extra kind of boost of gain on here. So we gonna what we gonna do is back to the review the CBG. We gonna roll up some of the CBG with the lifter because I was told that you know the CBG really you know with the experience I've had with it I should actually just try rolling it up with some of the CBD. It's I've been told it's a little better that way as far as the effects. And then since the smoke doesn't really give me like a big flavor or anything of that nature, that it would be a little better just to go ahead and kind of mix it in uh, with the actual CBD flour. So we'll go ahead and bust the CBG open as well. Yeah, see, CBG, the smell just reminds me of just like a just kind of a, just a grassy just generic type of a smell you know what i'm saying it's nothing really special to me about like the smell or anything it always just has that kind of backyard fresh grass kind of smell the buds of course you know well trimmed nice like you know you can tell they they do their thing as far as they manicure and i mean it's beautiful it's beautiful flower it's always it looks like some 
straight A1 dispensary type of, you know, marijuana, green, you know. But we're going to find out, man. It's very, very beautiful. Very light, fluffy, you know, as far as, like, just the, the texture. Um, you can see that, that red and kind of orange uh, pistols or hers, as we call them. Y'all can see it, man. So it's beautiful looking buds, no doubt. So what we'll do, we're going to cut right into it. Um, I will go ahead and throw up, because I did see the COA and everything is directly on the website for the lifter. I'm not going to do it for the the CBG, because, I mean, unless y'all really here for that, you know, matter of fact, if I can get it, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll throw them up back to back. So right here first, we're going to have the lifter. This is going to be the COA for the lifter. So you guys will be able to see that. If you need to pause it, feel free to pause it right there. And then let's go back. Bear with me one moment. Let's see. The CBG. Yeah, so here's going to be the, the COA for the CBG as well. This is white CBG. So y'all go ahead, pause it, do what you got to do. Look at those COAs. Bear with me. I'm going to roll some up. I'm going to give you the up close and personal video. And then I'll come back on my thoughts on the smell and the breakdown and everything as well. And then we're going to smoke some. You heard me? So stay tuned, flight crew. Yeah, what's happening, flight crew? We back, man. And let me tell you, doing the breakdown just reminded me of how just sticky and just how I love organic entourage, this flower. Like, if you want some some sticky, icky, holly at organic entourage, man. They flower is always fresh and just sticky, like sticky. I mean, if you want something sticky, holly at them straight up. So... Oh, you know we got to do the hang time, that sticky test, man. And, I mean, the buzz is just, like, no joking. Y'all, I barely even touched it, you know what I'm saying? I barely even applied it to my finger, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Didn't even have to put no pressure, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I believe this is going to be some pressure, for real. Organic entourage, man. Y'all got some sticky, man. And, I mean, the smell is just so fresh and just just gratifying you know what i'm saying like <laughs> i don't know what to tell y'all man that smell is is great so with the uh cbg we did go ahead and break some cbg down with it um the cbg kind of cleaned my grinder you know what i'm saying i don't know if anybody has had that experience you know what i'm saying with the grinder and some cbg uh after you've already you know grinded up some other flour but it was like the the cbg kind of cleaned my grinder kind of freed it up it's spinning free and and good you know what i'm saying so right on for that i don't know what that's about but i appreciate it but again no big smell you know what i'm saying for the cbg uh, just nice looking 
presentable flower. As far as the mix, we got about, I say, not quite a 50 50. We might do about as about it. We might be about a 60 40 60 of the lifter, 40% CBG. Let's do a dry pull. Dry pull is giving me a nice kind of sweetness. Again, that could be the mix. I don't think that's just strictly how the lifter would taste. Uh, so I believe that would be a mix. Or due to the mix, I'm getting a nice kind of sweet and kind of a gassiness at the back of my throat as well um, on the dry pool. So without further ado, man, let's do what y'all came here for. Let's do what you want to see. Let's go ahead and smoke some, fam. Now, again, I don't judge the first pool, usually just because of that butane flavor. So, we get a couple pulls down, and then I'll give you my thoughts, you know what I'm saying, as far as how it's hitting. The CBG, if anything else, too, is probably going to smooth out the actual pull and the throat grab. Uh, so, if you are a person that, um, you know, is, is that likes to smoke, but, you know, sometimes the smoke just... If you just if it just chokes you up, you know what I'm saying? If it gives you a throat grab or whatever you smoke and you just always a cougher, you know what I'm saying? Mix in a little CBG with it, you know, because that CBG will kind of make it a little smoother on the smoke. And it went out while I was talking. Yeah, because when I smoked CBG, it was just, you know, nothing for me. Like no throat grab, none of that. The CBG was extremely smooth. So mix a little bit of that in. If you find that your CBD, maybe it's a little harsh for you to handle, mix, mix in a little CBG with it. Or maybe you can just try some straight, just all CBG. You know what I'm saying? You definitely will be able to pull that with no problem. Just to show you how sticky and just how good they shit is, man. You know, we always look at the tip. We always look for that 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 ring. We call it that kind of oil ring. Look at that. Y'all can see that glistening, that, that kind of brown line right there that makes its way around. And we just lit this up, y'all, and look at that. Just packing a punch, man. They shit is sticky, I'm trying to tell you, man. And that's that... Organic Entourage, y'all just really have excellent, fresh, sticky, potent flour, man. And I, I thoroughly enjoy y'all flour. Like, no bullshit. And if you're not a fan of the language, excuse that. I'm just being me, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be nobody else on these videos but myself. So you may get a little... You may get a little language, you know what I'm saying? You may get some curse words, but we all adults. My videos are not intended for children. <coughs> okay. I'm already kind of starting to get that kind of clear-headed feeling, man. That lifter kicks in with just that clear-headed feeling. And hopefully the CBG will just enhance those effects. I'm not going to do a big thing on the flavor of the smoke or the taste just because it is a mix. And everybody that smokes CBD is already familiar with Lifter. That's why I didn't mind doing a mix with Lifter because Lifter is just one of those top just household, you know, CBD originals. You know what I'm saying? That's like the OG CBD strain. You know, everybody knows about Lifter. Everybody is familiar with Lifter. Uh, so I wanted to do a video of a mix, you know what I'm saying, doing the CBG and the lifter. If you guys aren't familiar with kind of mixing them to mellow out your smoke and kind of maybe uh, assist you with enjoying your CBG a little better if you've had previous kind of issues with it as I have. What's kicking in, though? 
it's funny because you can kind of get a mellow feeling, but at the same time, you're clear headed and you're motivated. You, 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 you're starting to feel that motivation to want to pick up and, and go and kind of do some things, accomplish some tasks. So that's where the sativas always kind of are good to have again, especially if you're somebody that just suffers with bouts of depression, man. Get you a good sativa. I personally love Indica's because I love something that helps me sleep and kind of helps me um, kind of slow my thoughts down. I have anxiety and all of those type of issues, so I love a good Indica, especially at nighttime. But a good sativa in the morning just to help you get out of the bed and give you that 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 kind of motivation to do and move and get up and do something, man. Lifter, to me, is always my top as far as a, a great sativa. Stay tuned. I appreciate y'all for tuning in for this video. We're going to review other products. You know what I'm saying? Now, before we do, just back to back to back, Organic Entourage, I am going to kind of mix it up. So the next video will be the next company in line for review. And then once I get all of the other companies out of the way, we'll double back and kind of go over the ones that we didn't jump to in this video, such as that Silver Haze, Hawaiian Haze. You know, we'll we'll touch back on those as well. So those will get reviewed. I just kind of want to, you know what I'm saying, do. I don't want to do back to back to back the same companies. We're going to mix it up a little bit. And then once we do that again, we'll double back, y'all, and, and knock out the, uh, the doubles. And, and, you know, we'll do it like that. Stay tuned. Hit me up on IG, y'all. If you want to reach out to me, contact me, any questions, whatever. Holler at me on IG. If I don't respond to the comment on the video, I do apologize. But you can definitely holler at me on IG at any time. I'm always available. All right? Holler at your boy. I appreciate y'all. Flight crew website coming soon. Still in the works, man. Holler at me. Smoke some, bitch. <laughs>